Smart Controller 3 installation. Begin by removing the screw at the bottom of the front cover of the STP SC3. Remove the front cover. Determine the mounting location of the STP SC3. Mark the screw hole at the top of the enclosure. Drill a small hole at the marked location. Be sure the hole is smaller than the screw that will be used. Install the screw, but do not tighten. Hang the STP SC3 on the wall. Notice there are two screw hole locations at the bottom right and bottom left corners of the SC3 enclosure. Mark these locations for additional mounting screws. Remove the SC3 and drill two holes at the marked locations. Hang the SC3 back onto the wall and install the two additional mounting screws. Next, Tighten the top mounting screw. Locate the input power wires. These wires should be terminated on the terminals marked L1, L2, and L3. Also terminate the ground wire to the ground lug. Two ground lugs are provided, one in the bottom left and one in the bottom right corner of the SC3 enclosure. Next, terminate the dispenser signal or hook signal wire and the neutral wire to the terminals marked hook. These two terminals are located in the upper left hand corner of the front circuit board. Next will be the termination of the motor control wires. Prior to installing these wires, use an ohmmeter to confirm that the motor wires have no continuity to ground. Connect the black motor control wire to the terminal marked M1. the orange wire to the terminal marked M2, and the red to the terminal marked M3. The wires should be terminated accordingly to ensure proper phasing. Connect the ground wire to a ground lug.
Replace the cover. Reinstall the screw. You are now ready to apply power.